Welcome back, one and all. It's Officer Dan and crew back with another GK Tech How To. Yes, pick your jaws up off the floor, that's embarrassing. This time we will be tossing on our S14 and S15 Brake Master Cylinder Stopper. Why would you want to install such a thing, you might ask? Well, it doesn't matter if you've skipped leg day every day of your life, you'll still flex that firewall more than that idiot on TikTok did with his three new Lambos. Well, that much flex looks good, fake tanned up, lathered in baby oil, and up on a stage making Arnold proud, it's not in your best interest for your super expensive S chassis race car. Speaking of flexing, enter the box flex we didn't know we needed but wanted nonetheless. And after painstakingly opening this box with perfect timing, Zach has revealed what you get inside, starting with this bracket. This being one of two, it bolts near the rear of the tunnel, whilst this one, currently being shimmied, bolts to the front. And you may be wondering why this thing has more holes in it than the fact that jet fuel can't melt steel beams, but alas my friends, those things actually have a use and it's called adjustment. As you may or may not have a stock or aftermarket master cylinder in that old S chassis of yours. To cater to all walks of life, we also offer two different rod sizes, like you wish you could choose from in real life. Believe me, I'm in that boat too. Then there's the Ultra Scientific Payload Encumbrance Negation Increase System, or PENIS for short, as not to blast through the master cylinder walls, because nobody wants that. Next up are the washers that are not exciting at all and are just to be fitted to the bolts that hold the bracket to the tunnel, as well as a just as boring locking nut to keep that ish tight. Last up are the also boring but super important bolts that actually bolt the brackets together in harmony and flex denying ability. You get three long boys and one short boy. The shorty is to be fitted behind the master as there isn't enough room for a long boy, but more on that later. Bring your priceless car into the shop, pop the bonnet which is Aussie for hood, and let's get to installing, shall we? Grab the the rear side bracket, the shorty bolt, and the washer, and install that bolt and washer to the top right hand corner as shown here. Now wind that bolt all the way in by hand, leaving it a bit loose for now. Grab another bolt and washer and install it and thread that into the hole directly below the shorty and thread that in as well. Now it's time to get the other bracket up into the mix, grabbing yet another one of the bolts and washers and threading that into the hole as shown. Then pop the same setup into the lonely neighbor, finishing off your bolt and washer supply, keeping all of said bolts loose for now. Grab your rod of choice, thread the lock nut on as shown, and in our case we're using the short one because it just feels more comfortable and or the fact that we have a stock master cylinder fitted, and wind that through both brackets, not forgetting to slip the ever important PENIS plate in betwixt the rod and master right before the rod bottoms out, which is not what she said. Make sure the flat side is facing the master and the inverted nipple is facing the rod as it should be. Now's the time to bust out the torque tools and torque the front side bracket bolts to the specs shown here on the screen, then the rear side bracket bolts to these slightly different and absolutely not the same specs shown here as well. Once those are nice and torqued, grab a tool to tighten the rod on down, but don't pop your pre-workout yet as you don't need to manhandle the rod at this point. Just get it tight enough so that ample pressure is provided to the PENIS plate, aka wrist tight. This will keep everything snug and or happy. Once it is where it is, go ahead and torque down the locking nut to the specs shown here as well. Now is the time to down that pre-worky and get to pumping. Notice how the spot welds on your firewall are all cheering with thanks and admiration as they are now at far less risk of yeeting off the car. Make sure to have a friend film how little your tree trunks can now move the master or just watch this part of the video showing the before and after footage. You're welcome. This is GK Tech. One of us probably popped some pre-worky just making this video and maybe a forehead vein or two during the intense install. I can promise you that person was not me. If you can't install this, have your local pro who didn't skip leg day install it for you and or reach out to us with any questions you may or may not have, especially in regard to them gains. This has been Officer Dan, Johnny Caps, Josh, and Six Squat Zach with another GK Tech How-To. Peace.